description of top level wrestling and how you guys managed to, to do this. I know there was a lot of work on the part of all three of you to make that happen. And so, Flynn, can you set that up a little bit and then we'll go down to the. Down sure. The um, well, as soon as I signed on to make the direct film, the first thing I asked was if Anthony would do some of his own wrestling. Um, because in watching all the all the matches, I realized there's no one, first of all, there's no one as gifted as him as a wrestler, and there's no one who can do the things he does as a wrestler. It's made physically impossible. So I always wanted to be a combination of the actor, and Vince Carell, obviously, and, um, and Anthony doing all the wrestling with visual effects where it would make him look like one person. Um, it turned out that Jarrell had five years to train, so um, he, got, he got quite good himself. So um, I, I would, I'm going to say that um, one of the wrestlers asked Jarrell if I think that he, uh, he wrestled in high school or how long he'd been wrestling, and it was like, I think, probably the highlight of the shoot for you when they sort of accepted him into the wrestling world. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, I thought, like I said earlier, I, I felt such a responsibility to the world of wrestling. I just wanted this to feel really authentic. I mean, I wanted, obviously, my first goal was to make Judy and Anthony happy about this film. I mean, it's, you know, a lot of responsibility to tell a, a true story, especially with people that you've gotten to know so well and that you care about. And, you know, it's their lives, and I just never took that for granted. So, but part of that authenticity came from, like, surrounding the film or filling the film with, you know, as many real, all, all the wrestlers are real Division One, Division Two wrestlers, all the referees, all the announcers, the coaches, everybody are real wrestlers. And, you know, we have so many people like that infused throughout the film that it gives it, I, I hope, that, an authenticity, you know, that um, that would make the wrestling community happy. But, um, I mean, kudos goes to our visual effects team for making it seamless. and. Um, and also, obviously, Jarrell for working so hard and getting so good at this. I mean, I think we got shut down by the, um, the writer's strike 11 days into the shoot. And we, had, we were shut down for six months. And I'll never forget how horrible it was to call Jarrell and tell him that we were going to be shut down because of how, you know, he worked so hard to get ready. And then he was going to have to continue to work that hard for who knows how long. And, you know, he called me uh, two hours late. He said, you know, I'm going to just do this. I'm going to get stronger. I'm going to get fitter. I'm going to get better. And we were both like, we're making this film called Unstoppable about this family. How can we ever complain about being shut down by a writer's strike? You know, so, um, you know, and it turned out that he did. And he came back stronger and, and, and um, more fit, better wrestling. So it, it actually served. <laughs>